cartels in Carmarthenshire in South Wales and the small village of Penagros. Situated close to the M4 motorway, this former coal mining village has weathered stormy times, but it's now undergoing a revival with new housing developments and building conversions springing up, one of which is the lot Martel's off to see. Well, it's actually this whole block, which consists of five plats and comes with planning permission to create two more. It had a guide price of £218,000. Let's see what's behind door number one. Well, first impressions really do count, and it feels like we're onto a bit of a winner. It feels modern, it feels fresh. Your first bedroom, in fact, only bedroom, is a good size, and I love the size of the window. Um, your bathroom is actually a shower room, but again, it feels modern, it feels crisp. Your kitchen, diner, oh, it's just a nice, airy, bright space. This almost feels like the bit where you come back and see what the buyer's done to the property. It's clearly been decorated pretty recently. Kitchen's new. If I'm being picky, on closer inspection, there are things like you know, movable tiles, so the finish could be better. But for an auction lot, it's in pretty good condition. Not a bad start through door number one. Yep, one down, six to go. This really is the lot that keeps on giving. It comes with its own parking. And these steps take you down to the basement and another fully fitted one bedroom flat. And it doesn't stop there. So I keep looking, I keep moving on. Because going through the middle door, you access three more one-bedroom flats. Two on the first floor. And again, looking pretty together so far. Crisp, clean, modern, great stuff. But there's more. I And it's up to the top floor, where there's a thin, long, quirky flat built into the roof. And Martel hasn't even finished yet. into what was a commercial space but comes with planning in place, which is always exciting, to have two one-bed flats. Clearly work started, it's back to brick in places, loads of material lying around, but it feels like someone's just abandoned ship. While it feels like it wouldn't be the biggest of two one-bed flats, it does have a lot going for it because you have separate access, so two different doors. I'd imagine the division would go along here, so you have natural light flooding in on both sides. And let's face it, any auction lot that comes with planning permission in place is a very good thing. Clearly, as these two still need to be built, they'll take the bulk of the time and money to finish off what could be a magnificent seven properties. But what does an agent from the auction house which sold it make of this little lot? The properties are more or less completed and are ready to move into, but if I was looking to rent them out, I'd want to check that all the necessary works are completed. There are certificates in place which will allow anybody to rent them out. Yes, it's important not to take these flats at face value, especially the ones which look finished. Have the electrics been done properly? The plumbing is the insulation to the required standard. Do the flats meet the local area's thermal requirements to be rented out? In Wales, it's not just the building that needs to come up to scratch. Landlords in Wales, by law, have to complete Rent Smart Wales licensing. If you are a landlord looking to manage your property yourself, you will need to complete that. However, if you're looking for an agent to do that for you, you just need to complete a registration. OK, so a few things to take into account. One of which is, do the maths add up on a building that was guided at £218,000? 
In my opinion, the one bedroom flats would achieve £65,000 on the sales market and the studios would achieve around £50,000. And that little lot adds up to a whopping £425,000. So what about the rental returns? The properties which are completed, in my opinion, would achieve around £400 per calendar month. The studio um, apartments, once completed, would achieve around £350 per calendar month. On the face of it, there doesn't appear to be too many problems with this block of flats. And I love that it comes with planning in place to take it from five flats to seven flats. It really does have a great buy-to-let project written all over it. Let's find out who agreed when it went under the hammer. A recently refurbished freehold block of five flats with planning consent for further two. 180, can we see? Got to be 180 at least to start, surely. 175, then, if you like. 175, yes? Is that a bid? Thank you. 175, I've got you. 175 on my far right, then. At 175. 180 now, can I? 175, 177 if it helps you. 177, thank you. 177. 180. 180. 182. 182. 185. 185, 185, 187. So the auction got off to a steady start, and we rejoined with the bidding at £195,000. 195, 195, 196, 196, 197. 197, you better behind. 197, 198, 198, 198. Yes, 198, 199, 199, 199, 200, will you? At 200. No, at 199 and on my left hand side, against you seated and standing, at 199 and for the first time, at 199,000 for the second time, third and last time at 199,000. You're so well done. So for £199,000, £19,000 under the guide price, the large multiple property lot in Penagros was bought by Ken on behalf of his two sons, Dan and Jake. We last met Dan when he worked with his dad on a previous property in South Wales. Dan, Jake, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, you're not a stranger completely to Hammer, are you, Dan? Well, no. No, I have been on previously. Some time ago now, though, probably 10, 11 years. And it looks to me like you have a, a newcomer who's yeah. learning. Yeah. Is this your first venture into property? This is, yes, yeah, so this is my first investment property. And what a property to get started with. I mean, yeah. it's sizable. Yeah. What attracted you to this particular building? The location's fantastic. It's, it's right on the M4 corridor. It's fantastic if you commute in. Um, and seven units in one location, yeah, it, it fits my criteria quite well. Over the last 10 years, full-time property developer Dan has looked to buy or convert buildings into multiple unit blocks for either residential or commercial use, as he feels it's easier to look after a number of tenants under one roof. And he's encouraged brother Jake, who currently works in a bakery, to sink his dough into the same type of pot. What's the plans here? The flats look pretty good yeah but what's what is your plan here yeah okay well generally yeah is, is in pretty good condition um out of five of the flats that are apparently ready two of them are failing on epc ratings so unless they're up to an e rating we can't let them so right. to explain the epc is your energy rating if you're a landlord it in all of UK, but in Wales, if you're a landlord, you have to come above you. So that's your insulation and all the things that, right. that save energy. So how are you going to get above that E rating? Exactly. Yeah. So um, some of the eaves up in the top flat, unfortunately, even though they look newly skimmed, they will have to be pulled off, insulated, replasterboarded and skimmed back. And also heating measures, the heating in there is, in, is insufficient. So those will be, have to be a new system installed. The other three, once they're tidied up and the small amount of work that needs doing, those will be let while the works of, remedial works are being done on the other two. And then we'll move on to the two new flats which we're creating. 
It just goes to show that just because a place looks painted and finished, it doesn't mean the basic essential jobs have been done. Without the required insulation and energy efficiency, these flats are not legally rentable and unlikely to appeal to the sales market either. Nobody wants a cold and drafty home. What's your budget here? We, we've said 25 to 30. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's sometimes yeah. when I go through budgets, people think they're quite tight, but this is because we're quite hands-on and we, we can get things over the line cheaper than if we outsourced everything. Yeah. Dan and Jake will, of course, need to bring in the trades for the electrics, but otherwise they will roll up their sleeves and get stuck in. They hope to complete and get all of the seven one-bedroom flats ready to rent out in two to three months, so there's no hanging about. How do you get on as brothers when you're working together? OK. I'll, uh, <laughs> I think I'll have my, my earphones in most of the time, I think. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll talk when we have to. We'll have a breakfast together every now and again. We'll be fine, yeah. Yeah, we work we work together in the past, so it's uh, it's not it's not a shock or anything really. So yeah, um, and I'm guessing just as you took advice from your dad when you were starting out, do you get an element of pride in passing on your knowledge to your brother? Yeah, yeah, we we will work well, and the numbers are there for everyone to see. He's had a look over it himself, and mm -hmm. he's he's seen what I've been doing. So I think it's no real risk to him. He's, he he knows that the figures stack up. I'm sure without me, he'd still come up with the same conclusion of about what he's doing. Yeah. Outside property, it sounds like a full on job, but yeah. anything else keep you busy? Yeah, well, I've got four little ones. So, yeah, they keep me busy. Wow. What, how old are they? Eight, six, four and two. That would keep you busy. Yeah. Wonderful. So one day this family business might involve them. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Love a family business. I'm already training them. Yeah, they, they're all already cleaning and things here and there, so yeah, oh, they're yes. doing a bit. Yeah. Oh, right. Will they be involved at all? Well, they got to win their pocket money somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. Very best of luck. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. It's so exciting to see Jake embark on his first project and older brother Dan's going to give him the benefit of the decade of experience he's picked up since we last saw him on the show. I can't wait to find out how they get. We return now to Carmarthenshire and the village of Penagros, where earlier Martel took a look around this block of five flats, plus a ground floor commercial space, up for auction with a guide price of £218,000. Well, the conversion of the commercial space has been a complete success, given that both flats are now occupied by tenants. And although we were unable to film the other five flats, Dan has news about the two that required upgrading. Once we installed external wall insulation to the building and high retention storage heaters, we managed to achieve a C rating on those flats, and that now enabled us to be able to rent those out to our tenants. But it turned out those two flats weren't the only part of the building that required remedial work. In this commercial unit, there was a few issues that need to be remedied. There was water penetrating through the outside skin of the building. So Jake, my brother, he put another block work skin tied into the external with a cavity, and that's now preventing any water from penetrating through. A weatherproof building was obviously top priority, but the standard of finish was also important to Dan. As we've done quite a few of these projects before, we like using good quality materials. We like to tile the properties, the flooring throughout, and the bathrooms floor to ceiling, and give a really good finish. Unforeseen delays meant that Dan and Jake had to rethink their approach to this project. Initially, we plan to do a lot of the work ourselves, me and my brother. I'm pretty multi-skilled and I do like to be able to do a lot of the process, but unfortunately, due to some of the delays and other projects that I've got on the go, it changed slightly in the way that we got a lot more contractors involved. I took more of a backseat and project managed instead of getting onto the tools myself. But Dan also had some more affordable labour to call upon. I love to try to get my children involved 
I took them up here one day. My brother needed some briquettes and if they were coming up here, they needed to earn their pocket money and they were the ones who had to unload the van of these little briquettes. Well done, kids. And how did younger brother Jake enjoy working on the project? Thinking about it now, I think what Jake enjoyed the most is when it got to the end and the financial result. Well, that brings us neatly to budget. Dan had initially thought 25 to 30,000 pounds would be sufficient to complete all the work required. For this project, we did go over budget, um, but this was mainly due to having contractors to speed up the process for us. In the end, it came up to 51. With rental income steadily rolling in from all seven flats, this project has been a sound investment for Dan and Jake. But what will a local estate agent make of the changes here? I'm born and bred in uh, the village of Penagros, and I do remember coming here with my mother. Um, there was a high street bank here at the time, and I do remember coming here and it putting in my pocket money in the bank then, so it was quite nice coming back and seeing what had been done to the property. Looking around the flats, um, you can see they've been done to a very high standard. They're light, they're airy, very spacious, fixtures and fittings are of a high standard and you can just see a lot of time has been taken when doing this modernisation. The brothers have spent a total of £250,000, but if they decided to sell the entire building, how much could they expect to get? I feel the whole property would achieve between £350 and £375,000. Yeah, that's right, that's fantastic, that's the figure that we had in mind. That would give Dan and Jake a pre-tax profit of 100 to 125,000 pounds. And what about rental for the individual units? I feel that for rental of these flats, they would achieve between 400 and 450 per calendar month. And the larger flat then would achieve between 450 and 500 pounds per calendar month. The one bed flats we're getting 450 and the larger one bed we're getting 500 a month. The total monthly income from the seven flats amounts to £3,100, producing a return on investment of 15%. A satisfying percentage indeed. But what percentage would Dan put on him heading back to the auction anytime soon? 100%. I love auctions, I love auction properties, and I'm currently looking for as many of these as I can.